Hello and welcome to the winners' interviews of this year's Inside Market Data and Inside Reference Data Awards. My name is Victor Anderson, and I'm happy to have on the line with me today Oleg Solodukin, who is chief executive of a company called DX Feed. Now, DX Feed won the uh, best data analytics and technology provider category in this year's Inside Market Data and Inside Reference Data Awards. Um, firstly, welcome, Oleg, and thanks very much for making the time for today's call. Thank you, Victor. Good, good. Okay, so um, uh, Oleg, as a point of departure for today's discussion, and for the benefit of those readers who perhaps aren't familiar with DX Feed as a business, um, what does the company do, um, and how? This is the crucial part of this question, I suppose. How how does it differentiate itself from other data vendors in what is a highly competitive marketplace? All right. Yeah, so we, we have grown from uh, initially what was a, a trading platform development business where we have uh, grown our expertise with uh, key accounts, uh, which are among some of the biggest uh, online brokerages um, in the United States. Yeah. And uh, then we have uh, separated this into a separate business uh, back in 2008, actually. Yes. And since then, we've been providing consolidated data feed services and uh, a lot of data analytics services on top of that uh, to our customers. And what differentiates us is uh, the ability to quickly customize our solutions, uh, which uh, include all the basic building blocks, but uh, we excel in building custom tailored uh, uh, solutions for our customers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... Let's talk a little bit about COVID-19. We can't really have a conversation in 2020 without talking about COVID-19, right? Um, how did the company uh, cope with COVID-19? Um, and, you know, with all the uncertainty and the, the kind of the business continuity challenges, et cetera. And, and what has DXFeed learned as a business since um, February, March uh, 2020? Yeah, I would love to say that we barely noticed, let's say, uh, in, in terms of the day-to-day -day work process, right? Because uh, we are uh, basically a software company, right? And uh, all our process can be safely done in remote fashion. And we've uh, paid a lot of attention back in the day into providing uh, all sorts of backup systems and the ability for our key personnel to um, uh, work remotely because mm -hmm. uh, we are in 24-7, 365 support mode for key services and customers. So we need to be able to react from uh, wherever, whenever, right? Mm -hmm. So the COVID challenge was just, uh, you know, a big fire drill for us, but uh, it went well. Mm -hmm. uh, what we have noticed from the outside world is that... Uh, uh, the whole um, uh, pandemic uh, movement, let's say, mm -hmm. has um, affected the markets, right? So many people started to trade. Many, like our customers, have um, much more accounts. So the, the movements and volatility in the markets is uh, much higher than usual, right? And some of our customers uh, who are getting historical tick data from us, for example, they are asking. Uh, why is the volume of data two or three times higher than it was last year? I have to urgently confirm uh, extra disk space, uh, buy an extra disk for service with my management. So yeah. that was uh, the factor. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Let's um, let's talk a little bit about um, one of the trends that certainly Waters Technology staff have noticed um, since the start of the of the COVID pandemic, and that is. Um, capital markets firms on both sides of the market, so uh, buy side and sell side firms, have shown um, the, an increase in demand um, for for, for uh, additional data sets, um, but especially um, intraday and close to real time data. Is that something that that, um, that uh, DX Feed as a business has noticed? And if so, how is it addressing uh, those challenges? Yeah, so um, the recent events, they have affected two things, actually. The ability of firms to reliably deliver large amounts of data. And as I said, it's two or three times larger than usual uh, uh, over like the trading 
session time to two clients and some of the firms have uh, not been able to uh, cope with the challenge right so they had problems so uh, we have um, self um, uh, self diagnostics and self for restructuring technology let's say that that uh, allows you to to scale to 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 the current load so uh, that was a test for 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 what we had right and yep. the, the demand from firms right to to get more and more uh, uh like more and more data and more and more products uh, that's visible and uh, that's also visible in the analytics because so many more uh, traders are coming uh, right uh, in retail space mm -hmm. uh those firms need to differentiate uh, yeah. and the the pace for innovation has increased also like two to three times so, so uh, th this is where the analytics um, uh, and the um, analytics as a service becomes yep. crucial, right? Yep. Because you don't spend a lot of resources in-house. You just buy uh, essential things outside. Mm. It's delivered mm. from the cloud directly to the client. So that's uh, that's a very scalable model. Mm. Good, good. Okay, um, uh, Oleg, um, before I let you go, can you um, give um, our, our readers a sense of what we can expect from DX Feed for the remainder of 2020 and then into 2021. What have you got um, in terms of new enhancements and or new services that you're planning on rolling out? Yeah, we are very bullish on our index services and um, analytics tech. So we are now building our indices for several clients and uh, intend to launch our own portfolio. Uh, and the uh, technology around that will be also presented to our clients as a service, so they could do the parts of it in both uh, internal uh, indicator construction and portfolio management uh, practices. So th that would be the big one, and mm -hmm. we intend to extend the portfolio of our services in like a evol evolutionary uh, fashion. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, over the next uh, 12 months for sure. So, Okay, good, good. All right. Um, uh, Oleg, let's leave it there. Thank you very much again for your time and congratulations again to DX Feed for its win in this year's IMD and IOD awards. Thank you also to Waters Technologies uh, readers for watching this clip and I look forward to catching up with all of you um, in the not too distant future. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.